Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking about embodying goddess energy. How to work with your inner goddess, how to call forth that part of you and to incorporate it into your daily life. We are going to go through some easy ways that you can call goddess energy into your life on a daily basis and really embody that energy so you are loving yourself, taking care of yourself, showing up for yourself and feeling good. To me, what I do, self-love, goddess energy, spreading this message is all about empowering women to be themselves fully. If you are going to show up in this world and share your gifts and your medicine and the things you're here to share, you have to have that self of inner permission. You have to be loving yourself, caring for yourself, feeling really good about who you are, being confident in yourself so that you can do the work you came here to do. Self-love is the foundation for all of this, so I really hope that you take the information in this video and that you apply it to your life and that it serves you in some way. If you're looking for further guidance on goddess energy and tapping into self-love, really owning who you are, you can check out the six-week sensual self-love course. The link will be in the description box. And I really hope you enjoy this video, so let's go ahead and dive in. The first thing that I feel super important when you are trying to work with your inner goddess is defining what goddess energy means to you. What is goddess energy? What does this look like? What does it feel like? Send some time really sitting with yourself and deciding what goddess energy is for you. For me, it really means powerfully and unapologetically embodying the divine feminine. Another big tip I have is to get outside and connect with the mother daily. Honor the powerful creation energy that surrounds us. Feel its presence inside of you. So when you're with nature, just really invoking her, invoking the mother, invoking that form of goddess energy. We are beings of creation, so feel it, be with it, experience it. Allow it to be embodied fully in your body and you will be able to use it outwardly. Another big tip is to create. So on the lines of getting outside with the mother and being in that creation energy, just allowing yourself to self-express in any way that feels good for you, any way that's playful, that aligns, cultivate that creative energy, the creatrix, that archetype. So for me, watercoloring is one of my favorite ways to unwind, get out of my head, and become present with my creative energy. Dance is another huge self-expression tool for me. I love to dance. I love to move my body. I love to be in my body. And it's not so much about looking a certain way or like being great at dancing as much as it is about moving your body in ways that allows that powerful goddess energy to circulate within you. Lots of hip movement, really invoking the sacral chakra, that sexy, fierce energy that's already within you, the inner kundalini. And one of the biggest things is creating pleasure in your life, affirming to yourself that you deserve pleasure. So being a little bit extra, adorning yourself in ways that make you feel good, buying flowers for your home, eating food that causes you to have very sensual, alive, present experiences. This is goddess energy, knowing that you deserve the extra mile. Getting books that you love to read, creating a sanctuary, a safe, sp safe space that you can nurture yourself in. This is huge. We need a place that we can be completely ourselves, that we can feel taken care of in. Baths are another really beautiful tool. Just anything that makes you feel like a queen, that makes you feel like a goddess. Goddess energy is full embodied she knows who she is so you have to honor that within yourself and the last tip I have for you is to visualize powerful goddess energy what is it invoke it within yourself feel it connect to it invoke her allow her to come in um, meditation is a great way to do this just visualizing that part of you that version of you in your head allowing her to step forward and yeah, these are my best tips for cultivating and embodying your goddess energy. I wanted to share some easy ways that you can get started on this journey. If you're looking to deepen your connection to yourself, to stand in your power, to be more embodied, you can find me on Autumn Brienne and we can connect. I would love to be a part of your journey. Thank you for being here. I love you so much.